I can ask the AI to change the background of this video from this up to this. I can also add it to place a chair in my back to bring a desk on me right now. Also, add a microphone to this. And then we have a full studio. So, what if I tell you that you can be able to do all this using just an AI and it's free? in your mobile phone well no doubt so to do something like this you just need these two applications number one you need the chat gpt for the prompt and then you need the image effects for generating the image then after that we're gonna be making it to be live using the cap code so let's proceed now the first thing to do is to generate the prompt so right now we have two prompts that we're gonna be generating which is the first one for the background and the second one for the element that we're gonna be adding so to generate the prompt for the background i already have a customizable prompt for you so i'm going to bring it to the comment section for you to use it so this is the prompt i pasted on my chat gpt and right now when this is this part for me to write the name of my channel i'm just going to edit this and then write the name of my channel and then i'm going to hit on generate and then it's going to create a detailed prompt for me so to copy this i'm just going to long press on this and then i'm going to be selecting on text and then i'm going to be copying it so the next thing is to generate it into an image to do that i'm using the image effects so to install the google image effort just head on to your chrome and search for google ai image effects and then this is the link that you're going to be seeing just click on the link and then it's going to bring you to this interface click on these three dots above to install it as an app on your phone just click on add to home screen and then you're gonna be seen in stock so on your face screen you're gonna be seeing the image effects so i'm just gonna be copying any other prompt that i'm generating from the gpt to paste it on this image effects okay, i'm just going to copy the title background and then i'm going to paste it on the image effects click on settings to make sure that this is online scheme i'm going to click on generate this is the studio that i generated for me this is the next one and this is the other one so i'm just going to click on this icon right now and then it's already downloaded so we are done with generating the background now the next thing is to generate element that i'm going to add to the background i also have a customizable prompt that i created for you to be able to get that i'm just going to copy the prompt and paste it on my chat gpt so when it is this part part of object description i'm just going to add the object that i want it to be created i'm going to add a gaming chair a modern desk with a speaker on top of it a lamp with the center empty then studio microphones click on generate so what i'm going to do is just to copy each of these prompts and then paste it on the image effect and then the next thing first is to click on setting and then i'm going to change the aspect ratio of this to be on portrait so that i can be able to get the full detail of the particular chair so i'm going to hit on generate all right you can see it's have generated the chair i'm just going to click on this icon to download all of them and then we're going to be doing that to each of all these elements so when i'm generating that of this i'm going to make sure that this setting is on landscape so that we're able to get up the end depth of it so i'm going to hit on generate so this is that of dex and this is what is i'm generated i'm just going to click on download to download it now the next step is for us to make it to be a video now this is where the video editing app comes in i'm using CapCut in this video but you can use any video editing app of your choice first thing to do is to import the background that you have generated just select the one that best suits you i'm just click, going to click on overlay and then i'm going to add the person so i'm just going to click on remove bg and then i shot it on a green scheme so i'm going to use a chroma key but if, if i don't shot it on a green scheme i'm going to use the auto remover so i'm click on chroma key i'm going to remove the green color of this person here and then i'm going to increase the intensity now the next thing for us to do is to put the chair so i'm going to click on this overlay and then i'm going to locate the chair i'm just going to use the same method click on remove pg and then click on chroma to remove it now the next thing is to make sure that this is fitting the screen i'm just going to zoom it in i'm going to click on layers and then i'm going to drag this i can see i'm already above this you can adjust this the way you want it to be so far if you are driving knowledge in this video please do wait to click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you get notified anytime we post another content let's continue now the next thing to do is to add the table this is the table right i'm just going to use the same method remove bg chroma key i'm just going to drag it the place i want it to be we are getting there then the last one is the microphone click on overlay and then i'm going to select the microphone that i'm just going to use the same method click on remove bg click on chroma and then remove the green screen and then i'm going to place it under here so right now you can see we already have a professional looking studio now the next thing which is the last thing that we're going to be doing is just to color grade each of these elements for it to look exactly like the color in the studio so the first one here is the chair i'm going to click on adjust option and then i'm going to decrease the brightness of this and then i'm going to come to this settings here which is them and then i'm going to decrease it to be yellowish we are done with that so we are going to be doing this with every other element that we added yet and you can see with this we already have a professional looking studio now in order to enlarge this because i have a very long file i'm just going to drag this to the place that this person stopped talking i'm just i'm just going to do it with every other clip i have here so after everything this is how the result is gonna look like so 